Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Today on Walking the Candy Isle, we are taking a look at mounds because today we don't feel like a nut. Nope. Yes, that's right. It is Hershey's Irresistibly Delicious, reportedly. <laughs> um, mounds Chocolate Bar. It is shredded coconut and dark chocolate. And that's all she wrote. The sister bar to the famed Almond Joy. Um, Hershey's answer to Bounty. Actually, no. I guess this was around first. Um, so Mounds was invented in the 20s. Um, and then, uh, you know, by a, a Connecticut chocolatier. And then it was picked up by the Peter Paul Candy Company. Peter Paul famed of the York Peppermint Patty um, uh you know fame that's where they came from that's where that came from as well um and after they acquired mounds in uh, 1929 they uh they did create the almond joy and then in the 70s i think the late 70s they were um uh, merged with hershey's so mounds is a hershey's chocolate bar um it is one that people will know as of course the sister bar of almond joy um the two bars kind of go hand in hand. I think Almond Joy is a little more popular, though. Almond Joy is the one in the blue packaging. I've reviewed it here on the channel before. Um, basically the same thing, but with an almond included. Mounds uh, has come in a number of varieties over the years, including um, milk chocolate. But uh, classically, uh, as we see here, it is dark chocolate. And I'm not sure that some of those, any of those other varieties really are on the market anymore. I'll say this, though. Living in Canada, this is not one that we could usually find. I did find it at an import store, so that's how I got my hands on it. Dark chocolate and coconut. I um, don't know if it's going to say anything particularly interesting on this packaging. Peter Paul. Now, it's still interesting they still keep the naming on there. Gluten-free. There you go. Uh, Hershey Company, yada yada. All right, well, yeah, that's it. It's uh, one of those two bars in one kind of thing. Oh, but it does have the, uh, the cardboard underneath. I thought that was a Canadian thing. Anyway, I, there's two bars in There's two, like, mini bars in here. I'm not going to bother taking the second one out right now. We'll be fine with just one. So there is your Mounds Bar. Uh, very, like, flat sides, huh? It's not even round. Um, and the top, this is a special sort of scoring, of course, as usual, just like your Mars bars or whatever. Now, the Almond Joy, just like this, but would have an almond here, one big almond here, maybe it's two, I can't remember. Anyway, let's break into the mounds and see about, uh, Hershey's take on dark chocolate and coconut. Oh boy. Hmm. Very chewy. Oh, man. Forget how much you don't really like coconut until you start eating it. I'm just going to look at the best before, if I can, on this. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what I thought. Hmm. I see 8-4-2017, so concerning, <laughs> as I'm currently recording this in uh, late October 2019, it's got a good chew to it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? Has the mounds gone bad? Or is it just that I don't really like dark chocolate and coconut? Because both of those, I think, are possibly true. Um, you know, it's going to go a little bit stale. I don't think it's going to hurt me or anything. But the coconut might not last that well. I don't think I need to have another bite of that. Just in case. <laughs> Not particularly interested in getting myself sick. Um, okay. I will give it this. Caveat, caveat, caveat. This is clearly past its best by date. Um, so, 
you know, take this with a grain of salt or a grain, uh, you know, a shred of coconut. But I think, uh, <laughs> I don't think this is very good. I think even if this was fresh, I don't think I would particularly like it. But I do think that there are people who do like it. There's a texture to that way that this kind of shredded coconut, like it's a smaller shred and um, it's really packed densely together. Now, in this case, I have a feeling that the chewiness I'm getting out of it is perhaps because it is a little off, you know, it's off, it's a little old. Um, however, uh, um, if I recall correctly, you know, Nouns, Almond Joy, even Bounty, they all have this kind of like dense packed uh, uh, coconut thing going with them. They're not like light and airy, which is what you would... I would hope out of a coconut product, like the few coconut products that I like, like, uh, what do you call those cookies? Macaroons. Um, and, uh, you know, like a coconut cake or something. I like it coconut when it's like airy and has room to breathe. I'm not a big fan of, uh, pack, hard pack sort of coconut. It's not, uh, it's just not my jam. And I know it is for some people, but not for me. So, uh, I think that this is one that you could probably pass on. Honestly, even if I was going to get this, and I, I wouldn't. Even if I was interested in a coconut candy bar, I would, well, first of all, I would get Bounty, because Bounty is what you can get here in Canada. Bounty also has, Bounty is milk chocolate, I believe. I prefer milk chocolate to dark chocolate, although I do agree that dark chocolate pairs very well with coconut. Um, but I would still go for the Almond Joy anyway, because... Having that nuttiness, I think, really adds a lot, which is why I think that Almond Joy is, I think Almond Joy actually is the more popular of the two bars. I don't have any evidence to back that up. I should have done a, probably a quick Google search to tell me the answer to that. But I don't have time for those kind of things around here. Nope. Too busy. Um, so, Mounds, not for me. Uh, is it for you? Meh. I guess, I guess you'll have to decide for yourself. I would give it... Uh, a pretty solid two out of five. Um, you know, again, with that caveat, this is uh, this is a little old. So that's my take on it. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a fan of Mounds? Do you prefer Almond Joy? How do you feel about Bounty and or other coconut bars? Do you think the pairing of dark chocolate with the coconut is a good idea? Would you prefer something a little more nutty like the Almond Joy? Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you think. Uh, maybe I'm really off the mark with this mound. Maybe the, um, the Best Buy date really has made a huge impact in its flavor. Let me know. If that's the case, I'll try and find another one that's a little fresher and do another review. Um, but that, for now, is going to stand. Um, thank you very much for watching, people. If you like this video, please feel free to, um, you know, subscribe all that stuff that you do. It's all good. Uh, thanks very much, everyone. I will, uh, I'll talk to you next time. Wish me luck that I uh, don't get uh, sick from this. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye.